Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Ruslan G YouTube channel. And if it's your first time to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. There is a subscribe button down there. You smash that, you hit the like button while you're down there. You leave a comment about something you might've learned in this video once you watch it all the way through. So without further ado, let's talk about exactly what it means to be in a bear market. We've all probably heard of bear markets and I'm not talking about a bear in a supermarket. I don't know if you've seen that commercial, but you guys have all heard of bear markets. And what's more important is not the actual bear market because those just typically happen once every five years or so. But what's more important than knowing when they happen, how much they drop, is knowing exactly what follows a bear market and how much those gains can be, and if you were to capitalize during a bear market, what those gains might be for you, especially if you pick the right companies. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna make it very, very short for you guys, very easy to understand. So without further ado, let's talk about bear markets. Let's go. All right, before we dive into the video, let me just show you guys the commercial. I think it's a lot of fun and it's really, really short. It's only 30 seconds long, so here we go. Is the salmon wild caught? She only eats wild caught. Uh, I need a price check on honey. <sighs> don't get mad get e-trade and get all right so that's the e-trade commercial uh i just hope you guys thought it was funny i thought it was funny so obviously that's not the bear market we're talking about and the bear market we're talking about is the actual bear market when it comes to stocks so here is what defines a bear market and let me minimize this for you guys all right so what defines a bear market uh, as you can see here, what is a bear market? A bear market is when a market experiences prolonged price declines, meaning the stock prices keep going down and down and down. Usually they kind of go jagged, so they go down a little bit up, down a little bit up. And you might see that as we enter a bear market, if we end up entering a bear market. We'll have to see what happens this year. And honestly, going forward, there's always a bear market around the corner. So it's better to expect one coming than just say, oh yeah, we're just going to be in a bull market for the rest of existence. That's not true. And so just expect one. And this is what this video is intended to do is give you an expectation of what it looks like and in addition what you might expect right after a bear market goes back into the green so investopedia describes this condition in which securities which is, you know stocks or whatever it could be any security really uh drops 20 percent or more from recent highs amid widespread pessimism and negative investor sentiment so they say 20 percent or more is considered a bear market this is very very accurate this is true but as i mentioned before an average bear market is actually around 33%. So even though a bear market does typically start at 20%, that doesn't mean that it doesn't go deeper. And 33 is just an average. So that means sometimes it crashes 50% and sometimes it crashes 20%. So it all just depends on the widespread pessimism and the negative investor sentiment, how heavy that is in the market. So now let's talk about what to expect after a bear market ends. But in order to do that, we need to talk about the average length of a bear market so you can be better prepared when it does happen. So a bear market is roughly 289 days. So some of them are are longer some are shorter you know none of these are actually like to the t maybe you know you might see one in your lifetime that's exactly to this point but uh, about 9.6 months is what you can expect from a bear market that is significantly shorter than the average length of a bull market which is roughly 973 days or 2.7 years and sometimes we can have stagnations after this 2.7 years sometimes we go into a bear market so interestingly enough bear markets don't last as long as bull markets. So that's good to know, right? And so that leads us to the question that we've all been waiting for. Drum roll. What are the gains after a bear market ends? So recovering from a bear market, in the average, the trough of the bear market since 1929, the S&P 500 has gained an average of 47%. That is absolutely amazing. Like you could literally be terrible at picking stocks and you just bought at the low of the bear market, just happened to buy the lows or while it was crashing you can expect 47% returns the year after. That's insane, right? And if you were good at picking stocks and you picked the right ones that were really, really in the dirt, you probably come out with almost 100, 200% returns. If you happen to do the research, you invested in the right companies and you got a little bit lucky because luck also plays a factor with all those ingredients, you might come out with you know, 100, 200% returns after a bear market ends the following year. That's really good if you know what you're doing. If you don't, you might get an average of 47%. 
But again, 47% increase doesn't necessarily mean you're back in the green right after the bear market, because if the bear market was a 50% drop, you're still in the negative, right? Unless you pick those good companies, unless you subscribe to the YouTube channel, unless you like this video, then you might have a chance at beating that 47% after the bear market ends. So hopefully you guys found this very, very valuable. I had a lot of fun making it for you guys. And I want to make this video pretty short for you guys. So that way you guys can get the most amount of knowledge in a condensed format. If you like content like this, let me know down in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to like for the YouTube algorithm. And if it's your first time to the channel, please consider subscribing. I wish you guys all the best, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.